While Guillermo del Toro might be out of the picture, Steven S. Knight is all in and with some ideas under his belt for the continuation of the Pacific Rim story, which can be found at the closing minutes of the second movie from the franchise, we should tell you that there is still hope for the Jaegers to finally enter the breaches and end the invasion once and for all. It's our time. This is our chance to make a difference. Now let's mount up and get it done. Guillermo del Toro is certainly the man who is at the fault of giving the fans around the world a spectacle of giant robots and monsters clashing in one big battle, a formula he used for his specific Rim movie, with the filmmaker opting to craft a mega-budget love letter to the kaiju genre, giving birth to a franchise that back in the day seemed like one that would bear children from years on. However, as it stands right now in today's world, we can see that the entire thing went into a 180 degree turn, with the franchise stopping at only two installments. With various reasons being the cause for the continuation of the story of the movies in the franchise. And on that note, we are here today to talk about yet another sequel, for which we know so little about, regarding the fact if there ever is going to be one, or it is put into the dumpster already. The first two movies felt like a start of something new, a franchise like we have never seen so far. Thus, what are the chances of a Pacific Rim 3 movie happening? To start things off, despite the state of the franchise looking grim right now, we are encouraging you that you should not throw in the towel just yet, and we are going to tell you why. The first Pacific Rim movie was written and directed by Oscar-winning Guillermo del Toro, with the movie having a star-studded cast, including the likes of Idris Elba, Charlie Hunman, and Rinko Kikuchi. The second installment of the franchise followed five years later in 2018, which was directed by Steven Nesta Knight, starring John Buega, Charlie Day, Scott Eastwood, and Kaylee Spaney. Both of the movies tell stories of pilots who operated the giant robot suit called Jaegers, which were created to fight the ever-emergent alien race of monsters Kaijus, who started to rise from the depths of the seas around the entire world, with the sole purpose of destroying all life on Earth. Now, there is no clear indication of whether a third installment will or will not happen, but we're going to take a look at how the second movie might set up a sequel when going by this story and how the movie eventually ends. The first movie was pretty straightforward in the depiction of Jaegers vs. Kaiju. However, the sequel pitted humanity against the alien colonizers, but also against each other, with the humans barely managing to stop the Kaiju overlords, known as the Precursors, and their plans for global extermination. At the end of the movie, we got a brief but very interesting setup for a follow-up movie that would drastically change the role of Rangers in the Pan-Pacific Defense Corps. The second movie story focuses on the story of ex-Jaeger pilot Jake Pentecost, the son of war hero Stacker Pentecost, the character played by Idris Elba in the first movie, with Jake now being a scrapper and selling Jaeger parts on the black market. All Jaegers, advance and fire everything you've got on my command! In his schemes, he crosses paths with the law, which eventually forces him to return as a ranger to the corp, with Amira as his protege, a moment in his life that leads him directly to controlling one of the Jaegers as part of the first line of defense against the kaiju monster aliens that are about to swallow the planet. A series of rogue Jaegers places the corp at a disadvantage, with Shio's Drones, a private company that is producing robots that can be remotely controlled into centuries. And as Jake starts investigating the matter, he learns that the enemy is fusing Kaiju brains with Jaeger tech, which is also the reason of how Shao is able to operate the drones remotely. With this hybrid machine launching a massive assault on the corp headquarters, Dr. Herman Gottlieb is crucial to the story, as he is the one to discover that it is his fellow scientist, Dr. Newt Geisler, who is the man pulling the strings for the Kaiju's attacks, with him being the one who is controlled by the precursors, who locked onto his mind and corrupted him into doing their bidding, with Newt being the one under their influence by the precursors, who equipped the drones with technology to open breaches, inviting Kaiju back over. As the closing minutes of the sequel is nearing, it is known that the goal of the Precursors is to put a kaiju into Mount Fuji's volcano. 
forcing it to erupt and kill Earth's inhabitants to then terraform the planet for themselves. With the breaches closed and the kaiju dead again, Newt is apprehended by Nate and imprisoned, with humanity ready to go onto the offense and invade the precursors and stop them once and for all, rather than wait for the next attack. And to do that, they have to extract the information from Newt's mind and retrofit the new generation of Jaegers with breach opening technology much like how Newt did the other way around with the Jaegers while doing the work of the Precursors. This time, however, Earth's welcoming committee for the Kaiju will take the shape of aggressive invaders, ready to kill the aliens and their monstrous experiments once and for all. Which, as you can see, can be one of the best setups the movie industry has had in quite a while. When everything is said and done, it can be seen that another sequel was planned even back then. So with that out of the way, we should also take a look at Stephen DeKnight's take for a sequel, if it ever happens, and if he is the one helming things. With the fans already war ready, Stephen DeKnight hoped on the hype train and delivered to us his ambitious hopes about the third entry from the franchise and beyond. Speaking to Cinema Blend, DeKnight has said that even though he cannot give any major details about it, he has somewhat of a clear idea as to which way the franchise should go into, with the third movie being the one to expand the universe of Pacific Rim in the Star Wars slash Star Trek style, where it can go in many directions, so many stories left to be told, both canon and side stories, standalone movies, and even more giant clashes along the way. Much like what the Transformers franchise did with Bumblebee, the Pacific Rim franchise can divulge into a plethora of prequels, explore other planets, or even bring back forgotten characters, which would all depend on how far the fans want to go. Reboot. Okay, okay, I'm on it. Commander Gypsy. Most silence. Two kilometers from the summit of There seems to be a mountain of untapped potential just waiting to be explored, as DeKnight has already said that he would like to put the Jaggers for a crossover with the likes of King Kong and Godzilla, which is a viable option, as it has been rumored that the two franchises, the MonsterVerse and the Pacific Rim, stemming from the same universe, which is quite understandable, with the two franchises being produced by Legendary Entertainment. The future of the Pacific Rim franchise is everything but set in stone, whether you are looking for it to end right now or continue to produce even more sequels, prequels, and many other side stories, spin-offs, etc. But Stephen DeKnight seems confident for more Pacific Rim-related projects, suggesting that talks are well underway about how the story will continue, as he is more than happy to direct those rock'em sock'em robots for at least a little bit longer. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below, what are your thoughts on the franchise judging from the first two installments? Do you see another sequel happening and why? But also, what would you like to see happen in a third possible Pacific Rim movie in order for it to be good enough sequel that will bear fruit for further exploration of the wonderful universe the franchise is set in? And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.